So the Chinook activity question number six, um, I'll just read the question and I'll go over how I got the answer, but I've also run it a couple of ways and had some success. So um, display the artist name, the album title, length of the album in seconds with only albums longer than a thousand seconds, order by length in descending order. So we know that the most annoying thing Probably not the most annoying thing, but anyway, we know that one of the issues we're going to run into is the seconds bit, where we're going to have to convert milliseconds into seconds. Um, so what I did was start this off normally with my db get query con select, um, and I just did this like a couple seconds ago where I deleted this part of my... Um, my coding and it still worked but let me explain what I did here so I did the table name dot composer which is track which is the table name dot composer which is the column name and then I did that for each um, column that I wanted to use so uh, track dot composer and then the table of album dot title and then the uh, track table again dot um, the column milliseconds and I have it in this specific order because if you have it um, in a different order it's going to show up in your table on R um, ordered differently so it's going to go this is the table itself in R so uh, it shows composer and then title and then seconds so if you were to go uh, title or album.title and then um, track.composer. So if you flip-flop those two in the code, it'll show as flip-flopped in your um, actual table itself. So going back to the coding that I got, um, when I got to the milliseconds column, I did that divided by a thousand because Google told me that that's the conversion from milliseconds to seconds. And in order for the column to show up um, labeled as seconds, I put the as command in there, and then I said seconds. And then this is coming from the um, track table. And now we're gonna have to do our join. Our join is gonna be album. So we're joining, um, the next command is join, and then album is gonna be joined on the track. Um, table. So we're specifying its track is the table and we're specifying which column is joining together. So track.albumid and that's equal to album.albumid. And then in order for this next part to work we have to group by. So we're grouping uh, by album title and then um, here's another tricky part that doesn't um, that I didn't learn from the book, I learned from kind of trial and error. The where command doesn't always work. Sometimes you will put this code in, so let me show you. If I copy and paste this code and I put where instead of having, it will give me an error. So I've copy and pasted the code in, I'm going to put where instead of having, and it says error near where, and it's saying it's a syntax error. For whatever reason, I've noticed if you change exchange where for having, when you get that error message, it works. So here we go, I'm gonna put having in there, and then it, it works. So after having, I entered um, seconds, because remember I changed that milliseconds column, I changed the title of that column to seconds, so now we can use it later on in the code. So it's having seconds greater than a thousand. And then because the question specifies it, it's going to order by seconds descending. So that's the whole thing all together. Um, another little tip that I just learned a few seconds ago because I ran this, I just wanted to test it out. So when I run this um, code in there and watch this, I'm going to instead of doing track.composer, I'm just gonna put composer. And it still shows up. 
So if you're not sure on what to do and you see examples of things like you're wondering if this is actually going to work, go ahead and run it. The worst that's going to happen is that you're going to get this error code. And that's, I had a ton of error codes. So um, I've also noticed that um, there's a few different ways to run things. So don't be afraid to, um, don't be, be afraid to try it out and, you know, input different things in different places. I think the hardest part is actually like getting it all to work together. So if you have any questions on this, um, you can definitely shoot me an email. I'll do my best to answer them.